empathetic innervation. Some things here are going to look similar, so hopefully that's helpful. What is this bulgy thing here? This is our medulla oblongata. You know what this is already, the cardio inhibitory center. So what do you think this one is? This is our cardio acceleratory center. And of course, again, I have that, it's gonna pop up in a moment here. Okay, that is going to innervate our nodes as well. These are sympathetic fibers in this case. So it's going to go down, these, these fibers are going to go down the, the um, spinal cord, as you know, for the sympathetic nervous system are um, down to the, the spinal cord, where it's then going to travel out into the periphery. This is our pre ganglionic neuron. And then we're going to have a post ganglionic neuron as well. So the ganglia is in that sympathetic chain ganglia, farther away from the effector organ. SA node and AV node are being contacted by these um, final neurons here. This is going to be ACH binding to nicotinic receptors. This, right, is going to be norepinephrine primarily binding to beta receptors within those nodes. Norepinephrine is going to be a positive chronotrope. So is epinephrine. Norepinephrine is the main neurotransmitter released opposed to from the adrenal medulla. That's gonna be our norepinephrine and epinephrine. So how does this work? similar idea to our parasympathetic nervous system, but this time we need to increase, make the slope steeper. So how are we going to do that? We are going to open channels that are responsible for those funny currents. So one consequence of norepinephrine binding to the beta receptor Activating G proteins, activating CAMP is, of course, cardiac muscle stimulation. This can actually open our funny channels. Simple, right? If you open those more, those funny channels are what allow for the funny current, allow primarily sodium, but also calcium to flow down its gra their gradients that's into the cell, that's what's causing this depolarization. So more rapid depolarization occurs because we're opening up more funny currents than we would at rest. Yeah, so that's norepinephrine. Where does epinephrine come from? Same effects occur with epinephrine. I think I actually have this pop up as a question here. Where would epinephrine come from if we were gonna talk about that having the same effects on the heart? Well, that's coming from the adrenal medulla. So it's, it's also very relevant, um, but it's not coming from the post-ganglionic neuron that comes from the pre-ganglionic neuron that contacts the spinal cord. Instead, it looks something like this. Um, remember this? So the pre-ganglionic neuron is this one here. We've reviewed this this semester already as well. There is no postganglionic neuron other than these modified ganglion cells that are part of the adrenal medulla. So instead of having um, another neuron, these are modified cells that release norepinephrine and epinephrine into the bloodstream. So these are going to be hormones because they're traveling in the bloodstream. Released from this neuron is ACH binding to a nicotinic receptor. Norepinephrine and epinephrine are going to travel throughout the blood vessel, travel to lots of places in the body, but one place is going to be the heart where they're going to bind to beta receptors. 
to cause the opening of more funny channels than would have occurred at rest, thereby increasing that steepness of depolarization and causing more rapid heart rate. Okay, I've got a maybe tricky learning check here. And I believe this one is six. Learning check six, sorry about that. What is a conotrope? It's something that alters heart rate, right? Conotropes alter heart rate either to increase or decrease them. This is called um, having a chronotropic effect. Change heart rate. That's opposed to changing like contractility, for example. So which one of these are what? Try to do it the best you can. This is the application. Positive, positive, positive. We're blocking acetylcholine. Negative, negative. Acetylcholine should be obvious. Beta blocker, we're blocking the positive one. So a drug that's a beta blocker is a negative chronotrope. Beautiful. Okay, I got one last image here for this lecture. It's just a nice summary of, um, it's very similar to that picture of my favorite one, um, but a little bit different. This one has the neurotransmitters and receptors. N, what does that mean? Nicotinic. What does M mean? Muscarinic. Beta receptors are the primary ones on the heart. Um, we'll see alpha receptors as part of the blood vessels. But should we kind of review, right? 